Okay. I'm sorry. I had to restart the computer and uh, that's why everything got a little bit um, delayed. Um, okay, so I'm checking who is participating today. Let's see, Lady Gilberto, Gabriela is a listener, Sofia is also a listener, Andres, Roberto, how about you? Mauricio as a listener, okay. Well, I'm going to check attendance right now before we start. I hope everybody's doing well, that you didn't have any incident today. If you were out driving or something, because it's Friday 15th, payday, right? So everything together. Well, um, let me see. I have to open the file again. I had already opened everything, but because I had to restart, now I have to open it again. So give me one second here. I'm opening the file for attendance. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's see um, who we have here today. Um, Danny Anthony, Siguenza Ventura is not here. Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Andrés Martinez Pérez. He's a listener. Jose Israel Martinez Rodríguez. Mm -hmm. ah, just on time. <laughs> just on time, Israel. Okay, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas, not here today. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Well, he's not present today. Uh, Maria Leticia Realigeño Gonzalez. Thank you, Leticia. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca, he is a listener. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez, I don't see you here, Rebeca. Uh, Roberto Carlos Cámez Alvarenga, I guess he's a listener. Present yes. teacher, I am Robert. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga, um, not here yet. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez, as a listener. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño, she's a listener too. Okay. Well, hello Israel, I know you're here just on time. Okay, Rebecca just joined as well as a listener. Okay, great. Well, let's see what we are doing today. Okay. I'm sorry that I had to open everything again because I had to restart the computer, so. I needed to start opening everything. Okay. 
Okay. Well, let me share the screen. Okay, here we are. Let's see. Okay, uh, well, today we're going to be checking um, some vocabulary related to the stages of, in this case, for building, lo building loyalty to a brand, okay? And here is the objective. Through the lesson, we will be able to describe uh, our journey in the loyalty pyramid from indifferent to committed customer of a renowned local product or service. Okay, in order to start uh, talking about this, I have a question for you, okay? Uh, I need you to tell me either in the chat or through the microphone, um, what is a brand that you that you are very loyal to? Okay, it, it, it can be food, it can be clothes, it can be shoes, it can be, um, I don't know, something for, for your house, a, um, a perfume, a car, um, any, any, any type of product. But let's think of at least, I don't know, two, two brands that you are loyal, very loyal to. Let's see. What brands are you loyal to? I'm going to write the question here in the chat. What brands are you loyal to? Okay, let's mention at least two brands. In my case, I would say that I am loyal to Mm, let me see for for cell phones I'm loyal to Samsung ah okay very good lady okay this is for uh, personal care and cell phone okay you're, you're loyal to iPhone <laughs> Okay, very good. <laughs> and I'm loyal to Galaxy, Galaxy, well, Samsung, in Samsung in general. <laughs> okay, what about you, Gilberto? What are what brands are you loyal to? In my K teacher. Loyal, my brand, Mr. Garden, my product, the, the company. Okay, but that is about what you sell, right? Oh, your oh. It's your job. But any yes. other, I need you to think of other brands that you use, for example, for your I, clothes, your shoes, yourself, yes. whatever. Mm -hmm. in, in this case, Loyal brand, Sony. Oh, you're loyal Sony, to Sony. Sony mm -hmm. Xperia phone. Okay, for cell phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about clothes or shoes? Do you have any any brand that you're loyal to? And shoes, teacher. Uh, I like Carter Pillar. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Do we have someone else here participating? Okay, I don't know if Israel is participating and Roberto. Good evening, teacher. 
Hello, good evening. Well, I don't have um a brand that I get my preference to to it, but I'm so basic. <laughs> <laughs> I like your honesty, Israel. <laughs> uh, but if you, well, I, for example, uh, if I have to give an example, I really, uh, I love Samsung cell phone because it, to me it's easier than an iPhone. To me, an iPhone is so difficult to use it. <laughs> I don't know how they can use it. <laughs> I really, I hate iPhones. Um, yeah. That's all, I think. Okay, okay. You can ask Lady to teach you. She is a fan yes. of iPhones. <laughs> she really likes her iPhone. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree with you, Israel. I find uh, iPhones, well, any Apple product difficult to use. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> maybe not difficult, but I don't feel like I like I'm willing to to learn up, up, up about it. <laughs> okay. Um let's see. I think nobody else is, is participating. Well, um uh, let's remember that in this case uh, we're talking about these brands that we consider are really good and that we by like every every day we we for example uh in my case um i guess this is my third cell phone that i have from samsung so yes yeah, see for me it, it's it's I, I will say it's a brand that i'm loyal to or for example some people uh, when it comes to shoes tennis shoes for example they love nike or um what Reebok um Puma etc um in the case of Gilberto you said that is Carter Pillar right mm, so it, it it depends on on your preferences okay now uh, we have two other questions here in our lesson and the first one is how passionate are you about the brands you consume Okay, uh, now this is a, I would say when we talk about passion, this is an, a different level of, because I can be loyal to, to a brand, like I buy it every, every time I, I, I can, let's say, or I need, uh, but not necessarily passionate about it, right? Passionate is like, you think is the best of the best and you defend it against others, right? Against the competition. So, um, for example, Lady, how passionate are you about uh, Apple, Apple devices, in this case, iPhones? Would you say that you are passionate about it? Yes, uh, iPods. Uh, iPad, uh -huh. uh, iPhone, and MacBook. Ah, you have everything. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yes, you are passionate. I because love you. <laughs> you, you, you. You have all the combo. Mm -hmm. Solo okay. me falta el reloj. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so yes, we have a, an, an example. Um, well, I have seen, for example, a, um, some people who are passionate about a car, car brands, right? Like, I don't know, Honda Civic or, a, um, let me see, a, these cars that are runners. Hyundai Atlanta. Ah, okay, okay. That's your your favorite. Yes. Okay. <laughs> or some other some others are passionate about like the race racing cards, for example, Evo. I remember I had a student and uh he was always posting about a 
you know, images from this type of cars, or like he would he dreamed dreamed of having this kind of car. So I don't know. I feel like that is passion when you are always thinking about that the brand and what products you want to get from them. Um, Gilberto, how about you? Are you passionate about any brand that you consume? Yes, teacher, yes. Uh, in my case, uh, I'm passionate about the brand, the car, Volkswagen. Ah, okay. Which will... It's beautiful. Which, uh, let's see, which uh, model? Uh, the model uh, Polo, Polo Sport. Volkswagen Polo Sport. Yes. Okay. And what, what do you like about it? Or why are you passionate about it? Uh, I'm passionate for the quality and the, the car in the advanced technology the product is very nice. Ah, okay. I am I am googling the 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 model. Yes. It looks nice. Volkswagen Polo. Yes. Is it like um well Mm, let's see. It's a hatchback, right? That is the like the structure is not a sedan, it's a hatchback. See, uh, I thought it's uh, sedan. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I mean, the ones that you say a hatchback are the ones that look like they have kind of like the structure of a, of a, of a van, como lucen como que fueran camionetitas, los hatchback, porque tienen la parte de atrás así como cuadradita, como. So I, I that's what I'm checking in in the images. Okay. Well, let's see, uh, we have the, the other question is, do you feel these products define who you are? For example, lady with your Apple devices, do you think they, they define you? Puede repetirme otra vez, mi, por favor. Yes. The question is, do you feel these products define who you are? Like in your case, for example, you are passionate about Apple products, right? So do you think you mm -hmm. identify with Apple like to define who you are? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If uh because because it is mm -hmm. a little difficult to understand like me. <laughs> <laughs> ah okay okay well I don't know like for example you said that you have uh, the MacBook you have the the iPad you have the iPhone, uh, iPod, the the iPod okay so mm -hmm. um. Maybe, I don't know, I would say that um, in this case, because especially because they are related to technology or they are, yeah, technological devices, um, I don't know, um, I can say uh, if you like Apple products, it's because you like, um, I don't know, connectivity, maybe. Uh, because I get you have the chance to have like 
connected information, right? From your cell phone to your iPad to your computer, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you have everything in the in the everything in the cloud, right? In the iCloud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the products have a characteristic that probably is related to your personality. In this case, probably, uh, as I was saying, like the, the Apple products, if you have Apple products, you get the chance to have everything in the in the cloud. Uh, I don't know, like you have access to specific uh, benefits from the brand and those benefits go with what you like, right? For example, I don't know, music or some kind of, a movies or series, etc. So, in a way, when you identify with a brand, it's because it shares your values as well, like some characteristics of your personality. So, so that is like the 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 idea of this question. That this do you feel these products define who you are? Uh, okay, teacher. Um, they don't get slow. I like the camera, camera, mm -hmm. and how fast they work. What I don't like is that the battery is spent a little fast. Ah, okay, okay. It doesn't last too much. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, that that's what I was saying. Okay, for example, with the camera, if if they have a good camera, usually people who, um, let's say, they want to have a good camera is because you're always taking pictures, for example, or video. Um, so you need a good camera, right? Um, so this is an example of how the brand shares your characteristics as a person, let's say. Because yes, because... I love the pictures. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So that is the relations, the, the relationship that we make, like what the brand allows you to do, and if that matches what you like to do as a person. Mm -hmm. So yes, we can say that they they are related to to who you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Um. After these questions, we have the vocabulary related to the stages that customers go through as they build loyalty to a brand, product, or organization. Okay, so we have been discussing how loyal we are, we are to a brand eh, or if this brand eh, defines who we are, etc. So eh, when we become loyal to a brand, there is a process, right? Uh, we don't become loyal to the brand from, as we say in Spanish, de la noche a la mañana or overnight, right? There is a process, okay? And that's that's what we're going to check here right now. Okay, uh, we have five stages for building loyalty. We have advantage, presence, bonding, relevance, and performance. Okay, uh, they are not necessarily in order here, but we're going to um, match, right? We're going to do the match. Well, I'm I'm going to, um, let me see. We, we can do it together since there are very few participants today. I'm not gonna ask you to go on a breakout room. And uh, let's see. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, let's check for advantage. Okay, let's see advantage. Gilberto, what would what would you say is the definition for advantage? Advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Advantage. Or maybe let's do this. I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna give you some time for you to go over the definitions and then we can check, okay? 
uh, I seen teacher advantage mm -hmm. and uh, consumer has determined that cost advantage and performance uh, are all a level that they are happy week. Mm -hmm. Okay, consumers have determined that cost advantage and performance are all at levels that they are happy with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's take some time um, to think about this more carefully, okay? Lo vamos a dejar así por ahorita, Gilberto. Okay. But I will give you time for you to for you to do the complete exercise. Okay? So let me just do this. Okay, you said it's this one, right? Okay, so let's take um, probably, let me see, four minutes. Let's take four minutes to work on the exercise, okay? And then we check together. So we have four okay. minutes. Mm -hmm.
Okay, are we ready? Did we finish matching? Hello. Yes, teacher. We're ready. Yay, okay. <laughs> okay, lady, go ahead. You want to participate? Let's do the next one. Okay, now, do you... Sorry, do you agree with number one that Gilberto gave us at the beginning? No. Not. No. No. <laughs> okay, what is number one for you, lady? Uh, consumers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions and with their sense of self. Okay. And Roberto, what do you have? Uh, I agree with lady. Mm. Okay. Well, let's see um, what we have for number two. Okay, number two, to... present, present. <laughs> Go ahead, lady. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, customers are aware of your brand, but little else. Aha. Uh -huh. Customers are aware of your brand, but little else. Okay, so this would be the, the, the last one here. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Okay, uh, Roberto, number three. Uh, number three. A customer have determined, determined that cost, advantage, and performance are all at level that they're happy with. Mm-hmm. Okay, number three, bonding. Okay, uh, what would be number four, Israel? Do you have it? Not yet, teacher. Okay, <laughs> okay. Gilberto, what do you have as number four? Relevance. Relevance. Mm -hmm. Releven, eh, dice que yo tengo el customer at the beginning to associate the brand with their emotion and with their sense of self. Mm, okay, okay. Well, right now, we, according to these uh, ideas, we have only two possible. These ideas are correct. Let's, let's do... Which one do you think would be? Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs or customers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. Mm -hmm. It's one of these two. Which one could it be? Okay, okay teacher. I think uh, I think a relevant customer begin comparing in brand with other to see whether in delivery or easy potency. Mm, actually, that is performance. This would be number five. Mm -hmm. uh, number five. Yes. Okay. Because, because we're talking about, um, I mean, for example, if you have a Toyota car and, and um, somebody offers you um, Hyundai, okay, so you, you start comparing a like their their performance right 
and see which one com performs better. So in this case, that's why it's number five, because uh, we're talking about um, checking which performance, uh, which brand performs better. Mm -hmm. So we compare. That's why it's number five. And the last one that we have left is relevance, right? Relevance. Mm -hmm. Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs. So, I mean, is it relevant to me as a customer? Is Does it uh, have something that I want or, or something that I need? I mean, both wants or needs uh, from the customer part are um, elements that the brand needs to check, right? For example, if we are talking about ice cream, do you need ice cream? No, right? It's about your want. Uh, but if what about shoes? Well, sometimes shoes are need, needed and sometimes we just want a new pair of shoes, right? We may have many other pairs of shoes, but we want a new one. So, but still, even if it's a want or if it is a need, it doesn't matter. It, it has to do with how relevant I consider the brand for what I want or what I need. So yes, number four is a relevance. Okay, um, now, Mm, I'm not sure if everybody is familiar with the word bonding. How would you explain bonding besides what we have here? Because here we're talking about, a, okay, that all these elements, cost, advantage, performance, uh, are levels that they are happy with. Okay, so what is bonding? How would you explain bonding? For example, when we say um, mm, I have two cats and they just recently started bonding. So in general, what? how would you explain bonding? That is my question to check that we know the meaning. Teacher. Uh -huh. I think bonding is like with the customer uh, compare with compare the brands or, or analyze the brand, for example, um, the cost, the image, the durable, um, quality, mm -hmm. and if is affordable and i like i like it this is a as a bonding because the 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 customer uh, associate the the different the different characteristics uh-huh characteristics characteristics with or the product okay okay Yes, I mean, in general, bonding is that a situation in which uh, you create, a, let's say, a special relationship with someone or something, right? So you, uh, you start appreciating, as you are saying, Roberto, you start appreciating uh, all these characteristics that make you like the brand right i like that it's that is affordable i like that it performs well i like that um uh, that it, it shares the values 
I, I believe in. Okay, so that is, in this case, a bonding. Like when you create a good relationship with, in this case, with the brand, right? But we can apply this word in the general context, as I was saying, for example, uh, when you say, mm, this is, I had a really nice bonding time with my sister, for example. That means that you spend time together with your sister and you did things that both like, right? And that helped you get um, or help you build a better relationship or a stronger relationship with your sister. Okay, so that is the meaning of bonding. I wanted to just check if everybody was clear on the meaning. The rest of them, I think they are pretty clear, right? Advantage is a synonym of benefit. Uh, well, presence is similar to Spanish, relevance as well, and performance also. Teacher. Uh -huh. In other words, is like uh, your example when when, for example, uh, I have a bonding with my brother is when I I had a relationship with my with my brother. It's like I, I had a identify or a relationship with the product. This is mm -hmm. similar? Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Excellent. Okay. Let me delete this. Okay, now in the next exercise, we have some, um, we have the same stages and there is a pyramid, okay? Um, if you notice, bonding is at the top. That means that uh, this is what we were, that we were discussing, right? when we have already created this relationship, right? There is a strong relationship or loyalty to the brand from the customer's part, right? Um, so now we need to organize the rest of the, the rest of the levels. Okay, how about we take some, some time and individually uh, you uh, share later the number. For example, in this case, let's say that bonding is number um, let me see, let me see. We're gonna we're gonna give it a number, okay? So this is number five. One second. Okay, this bonding would be number five. So what is number four? What is number three? What is number two? And what is number one? In, in chronological order, right? What is the first uh, stage, the second stage, the third stage, fourth, and up to the number five, which is bonding. Okay, so can you take some time, please, to think about it? And then, uh, okay, let me check the time here. Okay, let's take three minutes. Okay, after the three minutes, please share it in the chat, your order. For example, I think that number one is present, number two is relevance, three performance, four advantage, for example, okay? So like that, one, two, three, four. What is your order? And then we're going to check if we agree or disagree, okay? So we have three minutes. I'm gonna go get a little bit of more water. Teacher, one, one question. Yes, Israel? In this case, bonding is a higher quality 
or it's a, uh, I mean, because I don't understood how we are going to do the exercise. I ah. mean, I, I imagine yeah, bonding is the is the highest level, and we have to go down. Mm -hmm. or yes. Have to go down. These are so, yes, these are the stages of brand loyalty. So bonding is like when you have already created this relationship. So it's like the the last stage where you are already loyal to the brand. It's a process. So I need you to think of a step one, two, three, and four. What is the process for someone to build loyalty to a brand? Is that clear? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Okay, I don't know if we are ready to share our order. Can you please share it in the chat? Okay, lady, we have bonding, performance, advantage. Okay, but what would be number one, for example, lady? Presence, presence. Okay, presence is number one. Mm -hmm. Two is relevance or no? Yes. Okay, then you have advantage and then performance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see what your classmates get to compare. Okay, I don't know if, okay, great, Gilberto. We have presence. Okay, number one for Gilberto would be advantage. 
Number two will be performance. Number three will be relevance. And number four, presence. Okay. I'm going to wait for uh, someone, someone else, one more person to share their, their answer. And then we're going to discuss which ones will be correct, okay? Based on the definition. Okay, I don't see anybody else. So I'm going to just compare between a uh, Gilberto and Lady. Okay, so let's see. Lady has presence as number one and Gilberto has advantage. Okay, I need you to go and check the definition just so we can see. Let me see. Ahí para arriba un poquito. Okay, eh, let's check again the definition for presence. Eh, customers is the last one. Customers are aware of your brand, but little else. Okay, so, well, in this case, it means that there is no connection, right? Uh, with the presence stage, there is no connection between the customer and the brand, okay? So definitely that would be the, the first one, okay? Because it's like, for example, uh, I know that there is a brand for, um, let me see, um, shoes, Let's see, uh, an example would be for me, Puma. I have never had a Puma a pair of shoes. So I know that the brand exists, but I don't have any connection to it. Okay, for Roberto, one is performance, two is advantage. Three is relevance, four is presence, and five is bonding. Okay. Well, uh, I am like providing the explanation for presence that that would be number one because, because what I'm saying, because of what I'm saying, like, okay, you can know many brands, right? You know that they exist. But probably you have you have never taken the time to check if they are good or not good, eh, if they are expensive or cheap, uh, or like you have never compared this brand to other brands that you use for the same product. Okay, so that's why number number one is presence. Okay, because. We just know about them, but we have never um, used them, okay? Now let's see number two. In number two, um, lady has relevance. And a... Gilberto has performance and Roberto has advantage. 
none of you uh, agrees with the order in this case for number number two. Okay, you have advantage, performance. Ah, yes, a uh, Gilberto and lady agree with perform no 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 right you have relevance relevance okay think about your own experience okay as a consumer for a brand what would be the next step okay you you know that the brand exists now how do you start like relating to this brand, what would be the next step? Do you, let's say, do you, okay, wait a second, I'm sorry, here, let's make it smaller. Okay, so in your process to get loyal to a brand, what is the next step? Okay, you know that the brand exists. What is your next step? Do you check, for example, if, if this brand meets your wants and needs? Or a, do you compare the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential? I would say it's the this one. A, you start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs because before, I mean, when we compare with others, it means that we have started using the brand, okay? But... Um, in this case, relevance is about checking. Ah, okay. Mm, I have seen this brand and I don't know if, well, is that what I really need or or, or want? Um, does it have what I want? Okay, or not? So it would be, relevance would be number two. Okay. Relevance would be number two. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, it's like you say, okay, is this brand something I would use? Does it have something I need or something I want? But this is actually before you buy it, right? Before you buy it, you do this analysis. Okay, now let's see the next one, number three. We have, for number three, Roberto, for example, has relevance. Well, we already said that it goes in number two. A, Gilberto has a... Also relevant in number three. And a lady has advantage. Advantage. Okay. Let's move a little bit to the top to check. So, um, let's see. It, it needs to be between advantage and performance, right? Between advantage and performance. Okay, for advantage, uh, we said that consumers, let me see, consumers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions and with their sense of self. And with performance, consumers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. Okay, actually it would be this one, right? Because uh, there is not an emotional connection yet at this point, okay? So uh, it's only about, okay, I already bought this brand because I consider it meets my, my needs. And now I'm going to use it 
and also use other brands to compare which one is better, right? So this would be the number three, performance. I don't know if I'm being clear in my explanation <laughs> about the order. If you have any question, please let me know. Okay, so number three, what's that? Se me fue muy arriba. Okay, so number three, we said that is performance, right? Performance. And the last one we, we get is number four. Um, in this case, it would be that we already start having this emotional connection because if you notice the definition for advantage is Consumers have determined that cost, advantage, and performance are all at levels that they are happy with. So when I am happy with a product because it is affordable, because it has benefits, because it has good performance, I am happy about this product, right? So in this case, there is a, a, an emotional connection to it. Okay, so... Number four would be advantage, advantage. And of course, bonding is the last one because that is uh, what we said at the beginning, when you are already loyal to the product, to the brand. Okay, so the first one is presence. The second one is relevance. The third one is performance. Number four is advantage and five is bonding. Okay, I'm going to uh, take a screenshot so I can share it with you in the WhatsApp group. Okay, give me one second. I will I will uh, share it with you. Okay, are, is the order clear, or do you have any question about any of them? Please let me know. Raise your hand if the order is clear based on my explanation. Raise your hand if the order is clear based on my explanation. Okay, thank you, lady. Roberto, Gilberto, great. Great, great. Okay, and also I forgot to share the, the answers to the previous exercise. That's where we check the definitions. So I'm going to do that again. We're going to write the, the, the numbers just so you have them uh, with you, okay? But right now, okay, I'm going to share my screen so you can see what answers I'm, I'm writing. Okay, uh, so, Mm, presence is number two. Advantage would be number here. Bonding. Oh no, I'm sorry. 
advantage is this one, the second. Uh, well, presents we already have. Bonding will be here. Uh, relevance is this one, four. And performance is the first one. Okay. Let me take a screenshot also for this. Teacher. Yes. Uh, first number five, then number one. Mm. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, so number one is... I just only saw it. Okay, let's delete. This is number five, right? Um, this is number one. Customers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. That's performance. Mm -hmm. So it's number five. Uh, let's see. Advantage is customer are beginning. To associate ah, yes, I repeated the number two, right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, five, one, four, three, two. Yes. Okay, let's take a screenshot again. Oh. Ah, what's going on? I cannot take the screenshot. Okay, now yes. And let's share it. Okay. Well, now Let me delete this just so we can continue. Okay, our next activity, applying the knowledge we already got related to the process of building loyalty to a brand is the following. Okay, we have we need to think of a brand that you are very attached to, okay? We already have some examples like Lady and her Apple products, <laughs> right? She is passionate about Apple products. Okay, so think of a brand that you are very attached to. When I say attached, or when we say attached, it has to do with passionate, right? That you are very passionate about, okay? so. One that you are very passionate about and one that you are familiar but not attached, okay? Then we are going to use the descriptions of the brand loyalty pyramid to identify where in the pyramid you are in respect to these brands, okay? And we're going to use these questions to guide, to guide our analysis, okay? Uh, so here we have the, the guiding questions. Uh, okay, these are the ones for the brand that we love or that we are passionate about. The first one, how long have you been a customer of this brand, right? Like for example, lady, how long have you been a customer of the Apple brand? What are the features you love of the Apple brand? Would you recommend Apple brand to friends or family? Would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from Apple brand? Okay, so that's the one that you really love. Now, the one that you are familiar with, but you don't love that much. 
For example, I would say a Puma shoes, okay, in my case. How long have you been a customer of the Puma shoes brand? Are you satisfied with the Puma brand? Would you recommend the Puma brand to friends and family? Would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from the Puma brand? Okay. And now, uh, after answering the questions, right, uh, we're going to uh, check where in the pyramid we are respect to these brands. Okay. So, um, let's use the, the, the steps, right? For example, we sell um, number one is presence, number two is relevance, number three is uh, performance, number four is advantage, and number five is bonding. So which is which stage are you in each case? Okay. And for this activity, yes, we're going to work with a partner, okay? So I'm going to um, create our rooms here. Let's see. We're gonna have lots of rooms today, only two, <laughs> okay? So let me see. Okay, lady, lady, lady. Okay, I'm going to share this uh, exercise in the WhatsApp group just in case someone doesn't have the manual, okay? So right now we're going to go to our rooms and I will share the material as soon as possible. Okay, so see you in your rooms. Sri Lanka, the cinema. Oh, nice. Yes. Hello, did you see my, my image in the group? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Say hello, don Israel. Yes, I'm checking on the WhatsApp group. The last one, teacher, the number four. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yes, the one that I just checked, share. Think of a brand uh, you are very attached to and one and one to which you are familiar but not attached. attached. Then use the description on, on the brand that the person that's been worried about your reference how long have they been customer off okay mm -hmm. 
Yes, so answer the questions, right, for each brand and then decide which stage in the pyramid you are. For example, uh, I mean, each of you will choose the two brands, one that you really love and one that you um, are familiar with, but you don't love that much. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what your classmates are doing. So I'll be right back. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. A pagar más por disfrutar esos beneficios. That's right, Roberto. Ajá, no, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, the like, for example, the iClub, uh, you have pay for extra memory. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, we are have a question. Uh, yes. How we can say uh, tiene más velocidad o no se traba? It's faster. It's faster. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's faster. Yes. For surf on, on internet. Exactly. Yes, you can use it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y en este caso vamos a hacer los dos los dos ejercicios, el de la manita y el del corazoncito. Yes, I mean, for example, in your case, let's say that you choose, I don't know, a, um, Mm. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is yours. Eh, maybe. <laughs> Apple versus, I don't know, LG or Sony. Um, Clinique. Hmm? Clinique. Okay. La Roche Posey. Okay. Okay. Yes. Garnier. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Those are the ones that you love, right? But you know, you also need to think mm -hmm. of one that you are familiar, but not attached. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, as I said, um, uh, in my case, it would be. Let me see something that I'm that I am familiar but not attached, could be uh, LG. Okay, I am familiar with the brand, but I'm uh, it. I am kind of indifferent to it. Okay, um. So there are two brands: one that I love and one that I know, but I don't exactly love. Okay, so mm -hmm. the two of you need to have two brands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, lady, uh, you love Apple. Apple. Mm -hmm. This is the first example. In the second, uh, how long had you been a customer of Samsung brand or LG brand? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Go away, maybe. Go away, okay. Mm -hmm. How long have you been customer of Huawei brand? Have you ever had a Huawei cell phone? Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I have two. I have two cell phones. Ah, one iPhone and one Huawei. Uh huh. Huawei. Um, twenty nineteen. Mm, okay. Yeah. Why? Why night? Why night? That was the 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 model. Mm hmm. Scion twenty twenty. 2022. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. From 2019 to 2022. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So in 2022, you got the iPhone. Um, no. iPhone Science uh, 20, 2016. Uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. But you have uh, two cell phones. At the same time. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Well, where are you for work and Apple for? For personal. Um, ajá, ajá, lo que quiero decir <laughs> es que eh, <laughs> iPhone tengo desde el 2015. Lo que pasa es que he ido cambiando modelo. Empecé con el 5 y así, y ahora tengo el 12 Pro. Y okay. con Huawei, uh, tengo, lo compré en el 2022, y es el Y9 2019. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. <laughs> I thought you were saying that you have bought it in 2019. Ok, gotcha. Uh -huh. And I think you, you use two cell phones. Uh, you use Apple and use Wi-Fi. Uh, well, wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Yes. Okay, well, now it's time to, well, you also need to think of your two brands, eh, Roberto, to in order to make the questions. Uh, but uh, yes, that is how we, we will do the exercises. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to check with Gilberto and Israel. Okay. Uh, are you satisfied with Toyota brands? That is the number one or number two? Number two. Number two. Are you, you satisfied, satisfied with Toyota brands? Yes, yes, I'm 100% satisfied with my car. <laughs> You know, one, at the beginning, one, at the beginning, no, I, I have to tell you one history, his, history. At the beginning, when I bought the car four years ago, I only used a super as a fuel. Yes. But, you know, uh, one time when my, when my car was run out of gasoline, I went to the gasoline station and there's no super, only regular. So I, I said to the guy, okay, could you put only $10 just to get to my house? And imagine what, Gilberto? My, that $10 was so, uh, what uh, last for more than two or three days with with those $10. Very Pero, ¿sabe que al principio yo le echaba super y no me alcanzaba? 
y no era porque estaba cara, sino que es que yo sentía que la consumía demasiado rápida el súper. Pues no sé en qué está, ¿verdad? Se supone que la súper, el octanaje es más alto, ¿verdad? Y con, con poco debe darle la suficiente potencia, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No, hombre, pero mire, de que el hecho regular, vaya, he hecho el cálculo que yo me he hecho, 100 kilómetros con 10 dólares, pues, o sea, obviamente en, en línea recta, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, pero sí, ¿Y? es very chic de... No, de demasiado. De... Así Oye, que mi ahora... Toyota is very good for saving. Too much, <risa> Too much. <laughs> yeah. Also, you will never get, um, I mean, your car almost never breaks, you know, like in the middle of the road or something. I don't no. know if, if you agree with that, but in my case, I have never had that situation like It breaks. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. The car always wait until I get the home, I get my home to broke down. <laughs> I mean, no, it, 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 that's true. <laughs> that's true. That car never left me on the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just one time, just one time when the, the radiator broke down. Mm -hmm. But that's all. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Okay, keep going. Sorry, thank you. To interrupt. <laughs> no, don't worry. And the other question, Mr. Israel, would yes. you recommend? Would you recommend Toya Toyota brand to friend or family? Would you? Where are you? In, in what question? Ah, uh, would you recommend? Would you recommend sell? Yes. yes. I recommended recommended a hundred percent, Gilberto. It's a good, good brand. Okay. In the last question, would you be willing to pay more? to enjoy more benefit from Toyota brands? Yes, if I'm using my 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 currently car, I mean, I really, I love my car. At the beginning, I, I, I hate it because uh, it was, uh, the, the consumption of gasoline was high at the beginning, but now, I really love my car. <laughs> yes. And I don't, want to, I don't want to change it. <laughs> Very nice, Mr. Israel. <laughs> And tell me, Gilberto, about your your car, your Polo. Um, tell me about how the car goes, uh, the consumption of gasoline is high, it, it has high consumption or it's, or it's low? Uh, and the gasoline, gasoline, the, the polo, uh, in my case, uh, what the, the San Salvador to Santa Ana, uh, en Santa Ana, tú San Salvador, en el caso cash, eh, 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 12 dólares de, de, de gas eh, premium. Ah, premium. You use ah, premium. Yes. Y en mi caso, I feel very chic no no lo siento caro no para dólares. 
12 dólares moverse desde San Salvador a Santana, creo que dijo. ¿verdad? Sí, y de vuelta. Baratísimo le sale. Pero le, le llega al cuarto, o cuarto y medio. Eh, un... Es que uh, customer start uh, uh, to think about where to run meets their wants and needs. O sea, comienzan a pensar si la marca satisface sus deseos y necesidades. Ah, pues no está todavía muy arriba. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, hello. Roberto, did you have any question? Since I yes, see. teacher. Uh, We are talking about the the exercise with the pyramid, mm -hmm. and and lady told me that uh we need to to work in the pyramid uh mm -hmm. about the exercise made with with two examples, mm -hmm. and right now we are uh, order the pyramid with the first example about apple form. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So you, you didn't have any question? Eh, esa era la pregunta, teacher, que no sabíamos si íbamos a trabajar en la pirámide, pero... <laughs> ah, uh -huh. but it's in the second page, the next uh -huh. page. Yes. Uh -huh. Because the idea is that based on the answers that you have, You can say, ah, okay. Uh, I would say lady is now in the bonding stage with Apple. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, or um, with LG or any other, I don't know which brand. What was the other brand that you were discussing? Huawei. Ah, Huawei. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Huawei is uh, presence. 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 No, but you uh -huh. have used Huawei. Hmm? You have used Huawei. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So presence is only like when you know about the brand. Like I know, uh -huh. for example, uh -huh, I know that there exists Huawei, that it exists the LG, etc. But I, I don't use it. Mm -hmm. So in your case, you uh, have your... Mm -hmm. Relevance teacher? It could be. Uh -huh. or, or performance. Probably performance because you, you have the brand, right? You have used it and um, you can now say mm. the performance, right? You can talk about uh -huh. the performance. Uh -huh. So, yes, I would say performance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Performance mm -hmm. in number one. Number no, for, three. For Apple is bonding. For uh -huh. Huawei would be performance. I mean, in this case, you don't need to organize all the stages you just need to say if you go can you please go to the next page um lady mm -hmm. can you go to the next page in your your book ah uh, estoy del cel permítame permítame lo voy a buscar ahorita, ahorita no but a... you are ah no 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 uh, roberto is sharing the screen sorry i thought yes, you were sharing yes. the screen Okay, can you move to the next page, Roberto, please? Uh, the next one. Ah, oh, okay, okay. The next one, next one. 
Aha. So here you don't need to organize all of them, all of the stages. You just need to say which, uh, which stage you are related to the two brands. For example, lady with apple, she is in the bonding stage because she is loyal to the brand. With Huawei, she is in the, uh, what we say? Performance, performance stage. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, only that, okay? You just need to say which level you are, which stage with each brand, okay? Now, what about you, Roberto? What are your brands? Okay, in in my in my case, um, uh, the the first ones I love it is is Samsung. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and the second, uh, I like brand is is Huawei because is is durable, and and is affordable too. Okay, but you prefer Samsung. Yes. Okay. Have you had have you ever had a Huawei cell phone? Yes, I I have I had Huawei um around five years ago. Ah but, okay. But I had a good experience with Huawei. Phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but since you didn't um keep using Huawei then we could say that you are not passionate as you are with Samsung, right? Yes, I, I passionate for, for Samsung because mm -hmm. I use Samsung since 2015 okay. to 2023 years. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of time and yes. I had a good experience with the brand. Okay. So for your case, uh, uh, Roberto, you would be okay in the bonding stage with Samsung. And what about Huawei? Uh, you only had it one time, right? Yes. Only one time. Okay. Uh, we cannot say that you are in the presence uh, stage because you used the cell phone. Uh, the second one is a uh, relevance, right? And you bought the cell phone um, and you used it, which is the one for, let me see, relevance, um, performance, performance, right? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, well, but you said that you that you got a good experience, right? with with it so when you compared it to other cell phones did you see that it was good at performing or what can you say about performance for huawei okay in my opinion um about the performance is huawei is good but it's, it's good for me mm -hmm. because i had a good experience with huawei but I love it, Samsung brand. You love you love Samsung more. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me see. The next one will be a advantage, right? Let me check here the order. Um, customers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions and with their sense of self. Mm, since you had, I mean, you used this Huawei cell phone and you had a good experience with it, probably I would say that mm, you could be in the advantage, advantage uh, stage with, okay. uh -huh, with Huawei. Because it's not like you... Mm, you don't like it at all, right? It's more like uh, you had a good experience, but you still preferred uh, Samsung. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you already have your two levels, the ones for lady and the ones for you, right? Great. Okay, just let me check what uh, Gilberto and Israel are up to, and then we are going to go back to the main room. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, let me see. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Formar otra nueva institución. Hello, how are we doing? Fine. How about the, the questions? Have you finished the questions? Yes. yes. And also I'm doing the homework. Which homework? I don't know. I'm I'm in 4.9 homework. Ah. Oh. At the platform. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Well, I just want to check with the task that we were doing, if you were able to identify which stage you are with the brands that you were talking about. For example, well, uh, I, I could see or I could understand that. For example, Gilberto loves Volkswagen Polo, right? That yes. is the brand that you love. And... Um, Israel, yours was Toyota, right? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, so uh, for those two brands, in each case, for both of you, let, we could say that those are the brands that you are in the bonding stage with, right? Because you are loyal to those brands. You love those brands. You're attached. Uh, and then we have the 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 other brand that is that you are familiar with, but you don't feel attached to. It. I don't know if you discussed that. Those with with a brand that we don't feel that attachment. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't talk about. <laughs> we were talking about the cars and and and, and spare shop and spare parts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, but let's say, okay, maybe, maybe about cars, what, what is in your case, Israel, what is a brand that you know, um, that probably you have used in the past, but you don't feel that attached to it? Uh, a car brand, you said? Uh-huh. Mm, because I, 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 um, how to say it, but I just, ha I'm just had two cars in my life, one Nissan and this Toyota, but I also drove, uh, a Mini Cooper from a friend and I really, I don't like it. Okay. Okay. So maybe, yes, you can talk about the Mini Cooper, like, well, in the, it wasn't yours, right? Um, so probably in this case, it would be, let me see, presence that you know about the brand, that you are aware of it. The second stage is relevance, if it meets your wants and needs. Do you think it met your wants and needs or not? Uh, could you repeat the question, please? I'm sorry. Yes. Well, the, the point here is that I'm trying to I, identify which stage with the Mini Cooper, uh, which stage of the loyalty pyramid would you consider you are with this brand? For example, the first one is presence, when you just know that the brand exists, that you, you don't use it. But in your case, you use the brand. So we could think about relevance. In relevance eh, is when you check if this brand meets your wants and needs. So my question for you is, in the case of the Mini Cooper, do you think that it met your wants and needs or not? No. Be uh, mm -hmm. No. 
uh, uh, to be sh to be honest with you, no. I mean, okay. the car looks great or fantastic from outside, but mm -hmm. it's very uncomfortable when you drive it. Mm -hmm. The suspension is hard. Mm -hmm. And the spare parts are so expensive too. And if you do a, a an engine oil change, it costs you, well, to my friend, cost, cost him like a hundred twenty five or hundred fifty dollars just for wow. an oil change. Yeah, too much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So with um this analysis, then we can say that in your case with the Mini Cooper, you would be in the second stage, the relevance stage, because that's where you think of your wants and needs, and you decide if this brand is is good or not for you okay so that will okay. be your case what is your case gilberto what is another brand that you um another car brand that you are familiar with and probably you have used in the past but you didn't and really in the case teacher second brand nissan nissan Okay. Yes. So, what was your experience with Nissan? I was experience in Nissan uh, three years. The, the experience is good mm -hmm. and confiable. The, the, reliable. The it is brand. reliable. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, probably in your case, um, Gilberto. You use the brand, you say that you had some good experience. So maybe we could say that it would be the advantage, the advantage uh, stage. And in the advantage stage, uh, we you associate the brand, you start associating the brand with your emotions and your sense of self. So you have a good experience, but that's it, right? So for you, Nissan would be in the advantage stage, right? Because you think it's good. Yes. But you prefer the Volkswagen Polo, right? Yeah, <laughs> in this moment, yes. <laughs> Okay. The Nissan is good. Good product. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Very cheap. The, the, combust, uh, combust, the gas. Uh, it's really similar to Toyota in that sense, right? But also yes. it depends on the on the model. Uh, some models, Nissan models, are kind of expensive too. Right? Yes, um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, that is the kind of analysis that you that you needed to do with this task, right? Like depending on how much you like a brand or how much you love it, uh, which stage in the in this loyalty process you are, right, with the brand. So that is the, the conclusion, okay? Well, um, we're going to go back to the main room and uh, just so you can share with your classmates what was your conclusion. Remember, in your case, Gilberto, would be you you are in the bonding stage with Volkswagen Polo and in the advantage stage with bonding. Nissan. In Israel, you're yes. bonding with Toyota and relevance with Mini Cooper, right? Just so you can share. Okay, see you in the main room.
Hello, hello. We are back with our classmates who were in the breakout rooms. And uh, just quickly, I would like you to share which stages, I mean, your brands and the stages that you are based on the conclusions that you got from your conversations. So shall we start with uh, Gilberto and Israel? Just say your brands and the stages. Gilberto, do you want to share it? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, and long have you been a customer at we for bar and brands? Okay, don't read the questions. Just tell me or just share with your classmates what were your two brands? The brand uh, that you Mm -hmm. See, World Bahen, Bonding, and uh -huh. Nissan. Y Nissan, yes, teacher, and relevance. Mm, advantage, I think it was advantage. Advantage, advantage. Mm -hmm. Because you like the experience. Yes. Right? Advantage. Mm -hmm. advantage. First, Bonding, and World Bahen, and Bonding. Uh, In advantage? Nissan. Okay. Nissan. Good. Israel, yours, please. Well, um, like I said in the group, um, relevance is Mini Cooper because it's not a good car. And mm -hmm. the one one when I really choose is uh, Toyota. Okay, with Toyota, you have a you are in the bonding stage. Perfect. Yes. Okay, let's see, Lady and uh, Roberto. What are your brands and which stages are you with them? Okay, uh, in my case, the uh, brand is Apple and Huawei brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, with Apple, we know that is bonding. What about Huawei? What was the switch? Uh, Performance. Always performance. performance in Apple bonding. Okay. Roberto, what about you? Okay. If we are talking about phones. In, mm -hmm. in my case, um, I use um, Samsung brand and Huawei brand. And mm -hmm. Samsung is bonding for me. And Huawei is advantage. Excellent. Very good. So that was our conclusion from the analysis we did with the brands and how loyal we are to them. Okay, everybody, let's now check attendance before we leave. Okay, uh, Danny is not here today. Gilberto? Benito. Present Santa teacher. Rosa. Santa Maria. Santa Rosa. Present. Santa Maria. José Andrés <laughs> Martínez Pérez. <laughs> Por la salsa. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. Um, José Andrés is not here. José Israel. Oh, yes, you are, right? I'm sorry. Um, José Israel Martínez. Yes, teacher. Present. Julio Aristides, I think he's a listener, yes. Lady, Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz, he might be dancing right now. Eh, María Leticia yes. Raligeño González. Uh, she's Present teacher. Okay, Mauricio de Jesús, Buruca Velázquez. <laughs> I see your hand, okay, Mauricio. Mauricio. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez, she's a listener. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez, are you here, Rolando? Yes. Eh, um, Sofía Karina Crespo, yes. Here, and Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Okay, everybody. Well, um, we're going to fill out the survey on Monday, so I would expect you to connect, please. And uh, so I can help you out as well, okay? So, well, take uh, good care, good night. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Bye. Some of you are having parties over the weekend, right? So enjoy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.